You already know, man, all things sports and entertainment, and we can completely disagree. Let's get this conversation started. So President Obama, former President Barack Obama, is uh, on a campaign trail trying to get uh, Vice President Harris to, you know, trying to get the votes up for it because elections coming up, what, a couple of weeks? Well, he actually had some very interesting things to say to black men. Let me play his audio, and then I'll come back with my thoughts. Go ahead and, and just say some, speak some truths, if you don't mind. Yes. Because my understanding, based on reports I'm getting from campaigns and communities, is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. So if you don't mind, just for a second, I'm going to speak to y'all directly. And say that when you have a choice that is this clear, when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you, went to college with you, understands the struggles and pain and joy that comes from those experiences. Who's had to work harder and do more and overcome and achieves the second highest office in the land and is putting forward concrete proposals to directly address the things that are vital in our neighborhoods and our communities from housing to making sure that our, our, our mothers and our fathers and our grandparents can afford medicine and, and making sure that we are dealing with prices that are too high and rents that are too high and, and are committed to is committed to making sure that we maintain the affordable care act so everybody's got healthy and cares about things like education and entrepreneurship in our neighborhoods. And that's on one side. And on the other side, you have someone who has consistently shown disregard, not just for the communities, but for you as a person. And you're thinking about sitting down? <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> and you're coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses. I've got a problem with that. Because, because part of it makes me think, and I'm speaking to men directly now, part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Mm -hmm. And you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. All right, I'll put the link to the, to the rest of the his video in the chat. But basically, uh, President Obama scold, <laughs> scolded black men for not voting for uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. And I mean, you. so he basically alluded to the fact that people might be um, because she's a woman and uh let me let me let me get this let me talk to president obama because that you said you had a lot you said that she came from our communities no she didn't she went to our colleges so a lot of people go to our colleges do, do you not realize president obama all, all skin folks ain't kin folks y'all know a lot of y'all know what i'm talking about you think somebody a brother or sister and then you know they get the um 
acting like some of these characters in uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin and they'll throw you under the bus. And See, the problem is what people don't understand about black men, even black people in general, but since you want to, people want to target us, we are sick and tired of just voting for a pie in the sky that might happen one day. You know, uh, what was it, Ricky Smiley? This, these feel good. We don't care about you being in a sorority and you getting sworn in that day. What are you going to actually do for us and our communities when the average um, number one cause of death between black men was it 18, 24 is other black men? Our communities are, are are literally look like shit. We don't we don't we don't have a two parent households anymore. You got these young kids walking around here, all these weapons. Uh, people can't get a job. We get we're um, still targeted by the police. So we are saying, OK, fine. Listen. If y'all can give us some things that's going to actually benefit us, we'll vote. And y'all try to shame us. We're, 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 <laughs> this is a crazy. Thank God for the internet because we are. it, it is showing us what people think of us. Y'all want to turn to whipping state whippings, basically lashings, to try to guilt trip us to say, oh, man, you right, man. Let's go vote for president, uh, Vice President Harris. No, 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 no. A lot of people are sick and tired. And yes. People did vote for you, President Obama, in 08 and 012, because a lot of people are, I believe the, you know, what, uh, what was his slogan? What was it? Uh, hope and change, change and believe. And I'm right. That was the first time I voted. Well, I was, what, 21? So I couldn't vote for uh, when Bush was in office. But because now, now, a lot of millennials and Gen Zers and a lot of de um, Generation X are asking, hey, okay, look, wait a minute. We see other cultures come in and they get stuff for them. So why we can't get nothing? how dare you ask for nothing you just need to go shut up and vote shut up and vote this is what this is what people are saying and they got all these paid celebrity actors coming on uh steve harvey and all these other people just basically trying to say man you you are not you're a traitor for you asking for for actual things oh my god i thought i thought this was america i thought that we actually have a right to vote who we want to vote for and another thing people keep saying president trump is racist fine whatever right if you want to have that narrative but y'all voted for joe biden y'all voted for joe biden what has joe biden actually done since he's been in off you know y'all love bill clinton look, look look how many people went to jail under president clinton y'all love all these people uh franklin delano roosevelt uh same thing with him y'all loved him 89 years ago voted him in office and, and, and what got done nothing absolutely nothing matter of fact the military was still segregated until president truman came in and finally got rid of it and he was in office for 12 years 12 years did absolutely nothing segregation still went on when uh the men went to world war ii and they, they had the double b v for victory overseas and back home came home got screwed over with the gi bill all of that so People are finally starting to wake up and saying, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We see other people getting stuff done. We, we, we want our vote to actually count for something, too. And you're being told and ridiculed and scolded to know, you know, and now we must not. First of all, Obama, President Obama, what <laughs> do you not know that a lot of these black men have grown up with just their mothers? So they can't be uh, uh, misogynistic. Honestly, they don't. <laughs> some of these people don't even know how to see outside of that. It's not that, man, Obama, President Obama. You got to understand, we are finally asking for things. And he actually dropped that and said, he's not, uh, Kamala Harris isn't doing as well. Well, I mean, she got to actually come up with, so I actually watched the Up and Smoke podcast where uh, Stephen Jackson, Matt Barnes interviewed her. And she said a bunch of nothing, honestly, a bunch of empty, open, empty, uh, empty calories. No, what is going to be done? So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. If y'all completely disagree with me or agree, please let me know below. Hit the like button, share it, please, so we can uh, get get this channel up to at least to a thousand subscribers. Let me know below.